Okay, I'm gonna go over, let's say you already have, you know, your karaoke folders and everything, and then now it's another day and you wanna upload another CDG. Of course, you have the CDG uploader here. You just pop in your CDG, and then what you do is you go back to your D drive. So you go into your start menu, click into it, go to the computer, click into that. Then you're going to see, once again, your C and D drive. You double click into your D drive, and you'll notice that there's the folders. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this one, since that was just a temporary folder. So I deleted that out of there. So I go into the karaoke song folders, and basically, once again, up here where you see new folder, click on new folder, and it will pop up like this, and then you just name it. So you're putting in CDG1. Once you've done that, go ahead and X out of this, and then go ahead and get into your program. So you double click into your program or right click and open, and that'll bring it up. Typically it takes about uh, you know anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds. This time it actually came up pretty quick. We know that uh, we know that this CD is right here. So the audio CD, we click into it, it's going to bring up all the songs on there. So you choose the song that you want, we're only going to choose the one, and we basically tell it that we want it to encode it. It's going to bring up this box all the time, and it, it's defaulted here. So what you could do is, you click that blue button, and you know that we're in the D drive, so you go down to the D drive, we know it's there. Expand that open. Now see the other three folders that are there, and then this is the folder that we made. You click that, and you press OK. You'll notice that it comes up and shows right there. Now you'll also notice that it, you want to make sure it is always title and artist, so that's what it's actually going to put on there. And then you basically press OK. And then once it starts loading, all you got to do is go over, scroll over to the right here, and you'll notice that it's loading. And that's pretty much how you start loading the next one. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the video.